I'm just going to take out the feet. Break this joint here. I'm going to turn it around. Grab the skin around the neck. I'm just going to go all the way down to the neck. Cut out all this fat around here. Doesn't have to be real neat. Put that in the bucket. Cut off that excess neck. Then I'm going to dig in here and I'm just going to loosen up uh, the crop and the esophagus. And there's not too much you can do here, so this kind of loosens some of that connective tissue. Then we're going to turn it around, grab the skin, cut through the skin, cut through that layer of fat. And when we get this membrane, I usually just rip it because um, I don't want to be using the knife on any of these innards here. So I'm going to dig my hand in there, loosen some of this up, and definitely loosen right here around the bung. And then now that I've got that pulled away from the side, I'm just going to take this down, try not to pierce anything. And basically I'm just gonna there's the butthole I'm just gonna cut around it but I gotta get this side first and so here's the intestine we don't want to cut that so I'm just gonna go in here get right around the bung and of course it's sliding around on this wet table all right so we got that I'm just gonna detach that from the back wall reach in there and there's lots of little connective tissues in there and we're just ripping them with my fingers i'm just getting as much as i can out here and then once i can get a nice handful i want to make sure i'm above the stomach we don't want to push any of that nasty stuff out and i'm just grabbing on to the trachea or the esophagus or something and just pulling that whole thing out I'm gonna get the here's the liver and we don't want to cut into this, this is where the bile duct is so I usually just cut it into a bunch of chunks because I'm just gonna fry it up anyway we'll just cut this off get some of this connective tissue and then I want to stay away from that thing it'll leak nasty green stuff on there that can ruin all the meat so there's that I'm not gonna save the hearts and the gizzards make sure we're nice and cleaned out. I got some pieces of lung in here. We're pretty good in there. It's empty. It's just a little bit bloody, but it's empty. And then I just want to come around here and make sure I got all this out. So I've got a little bit of that trachea still here. I'll just pull that out. Got a little crop fat in here. I'm just going to cut that away a bit. And then I'm almost done here, so I'm just going to, uh, we broke one of these wings, but I tucked those behind the head here. Well, it didn't really work. But then the last thing is just to cut off this um, gland right here. And some people just cut it off, but I just cut the whole tail off. I don't really like to eat it. And it's done. And so we're just going to give it a rinse, and then I'll show you guys the end product. So we're just going to rinse off the excess blood. Um, this will just go into the cooler for now. And then we'll give it another rinse before we package it up for the freezer. Or if we were going to cook it today, we would give it a nice rinse before we cooked it. Just try to get some of this excess blood off because it doesn't do too well. Clean out the cavity. Alright, and then we're done. Here's our beautiful bird. Look at that. Nice and fresh and healthy, raised on pasture.